Hello folks, um, I'm here to share a video with you guys, a uh, beginner's guide on how to become successful in real estate. You have your license, you did all the hours, you passed the test, you found a broker. However, you still, step number one, you still need to educate yourself, right? Um, so, you, you know, you learn a lot of the regulation, you know, you pass the test and, you know, all these rules and laws which you will use. A lot of people say you don't, but you will use. However, it's good to educate yourself on your the region where you live, you know, local multinationals or companies that are moving in, businesses that are opening up, um, at what price point, you know, buyers are buying in your area. And, you know, the MLS, you if there's some sort of stats where, you know, people are buying at this price point in this area, um, these listings go on the market, they sell quicker than here. So, you know, you still need to educate yourself, always educate yourself. Um, and then second is guidance. You know, you, you have a broker, you found your broker. Now you need the guidance in which they're going to help you on setting up open houses or teaching you how to, you know, actually informing yourself on, on your listings, on what you need to look at, the CCNRs of a, how housing subdivisions or you know setbacks for certain lots that you're going to be selling and so forth so you do need the guidance and oftentimes it's good to join a team because the team is like a a support system in which they can help you with the sales as well because it does get discouraging at moments you will see moments where you're like oh shoot you know i've been under contract can't sell this listing i can't get a new listing at the moment so Thinking about being a member of a team is important. And sometimes, you know, you're going to have to work for free in the beginning. It's tough. It's not easy. Um, a third is to know that you have no cap on your salary, you know. Um, so cap on income. So knowing that you're, you're going through a moment where, you know, you're searching that guidance so you can be successful. You're not making any money. Yeah, you're not making any money, but you can also make millions. So keep that in mind. That's very important. Uh, fourth, the most important is marketing. Marketing is so important, folks. I mean, social media is crucial nowadays. You have your, your LinkedIn, your Instagram, TikTok now. There's Facebook, which is super important as well. And, you know, keeping your face out there and being consistent, um, posting videos, informing the public of what you know, what you learned, um, you know, tips on staging, uh, tips on, you know, curb appeal. There's so much you can post about. Real estate is so vast. So, you know, your social media is important. Um, local restaurants, local places where people go to maybe advertise there. Uh, your your open house signs as well. If there's sometimes you can put your own logo of your of yourself, of your your own brand. So marketing is extremely important. Um, fifth is accountability. Now every day you need to set aside time so you can plan accordingly. How are you going to bring in more sales? How are you going to answer all those questions from that one lead that you had? Make sure, sure you follow back, you follow up, and you follow through with all your clients and potential clients. Listen, you need to sit down at least two hours a day. Plan on what you need to do today, how many emails you need to answer, um, how many listings you need to send, how many people you need to call. Make sure that they're getting your messages, your emails, your texts. Um, you, and then, you know, always spent at least an hour a day. How can I improve my business? That's essential, you know, brainstorm. It can be with you alone or with your team members or your broker. I mean, not, not your broker. Don't all, they don't always have time to sit down, but you know, just people that are around you. And so that is extremely, extremely important. Um, Another one is networking. You got to be out there. Um, you're either out there 
you know, doing open houses or you're out there, you know, you in the beginning, sometimes you have a side gig because, you know, real estate it doesn't come, you know, you're not going to get all these listings at once and all these buyers at once. Folks, thank you for watching. Um, follow us, follow me on social media and have a great day.